So in the last episode we reached Salacion Town having battled through Route 209. First thing we can do, talk to this cowboy. Here it comes with a Pokemon can be considered your shared history. This is a Poké Chapter called Pokemon History. Use it to see your history of Pokemon catches. And we get Pokemon History. Let's show you this. History of our Pokemon catches. Shows the most recently obtained Pokemon, which in that includes evolutions. Now, it was talking about some ruins, our friend James. And if we go up to the top of the town here, the top of the town, we can see these ledges that we can jump down. Now, some of these lead to the right place. Some don't. It's a bit of a maze. If we go in here... Pokemon has a calm nature. Did you know that Pokemon's nature determines how it will grow? It does. Stats are affected by nature. This area is many people from the old days. There were the big Pokemon ranches around these parts. There were some big ranches around these parts. Or maybe I should do an English farmer style with a West Country accent. And again, maybe I shouldn't. I'll do a West Country accent at some point. I'm sure I will. Let's jump down here. You see? The West Country accent's already coming out. We go into this house. I want to give you some seals. We have a seal case. You should talk to my mom. Okay. Because my mother was affecting seals. Okay, so here you go. And we get the seal case. Next, some seals. New Pokemon Center PC. Select your PC and ball capsules in the PC menu. Choose capsule, apply seals, and put the capsule on a Pokeball. You can see the result when you use that Pokemon in battle. I own this town's ruins with some kind of strange alphabet. I think they're really neat. I'm too small to catch them though. Set up play with seals, try reading those weird letters. You can choose a Pokemon with those. I'll give you some seals. Now, in the ruins, there is a Pokemon called Unknown, which, as he said, looks exactly like the alphabet. There are 28 different forms, one for each letter of the alphabet, and then a question mark and an exclamation mark. We are going to head into the ruins to check this Pokemon out. But first, right down here, there is an item. Which is a PP up that increases the, um, what was it again? It increases the power points of a of one move, and I did not mean to go into the Pokemon Center. I want to leave right now. Thank you. Now this Pokemon that he's talking about is um, can only be found in the ruins. So the ruins are a very important place to go in the game. And so this is the part of the walkthrough where I'm going to head into the ruins. So let's go. Salation Ruins. Now, unknown to the only Pokemon that you can find in here. Bibbidi bibbidi bee. It says right here, if you can read it. Top right. Lower left. Top right. Top left. Top left. Lower left. That's the sequence of um, stairs that we have to go down to reach the bottom world, the treasure slide. But in some of these um, dead end rooms, there are some evolutionary stones. Which I will be using one of them to evolve my Eevee. A Firestone, it's not this one. That evolves Eevee into Flareon, which is quite possibly one of the worst fire types in the game. Anyway, we're going to go down the top right one that he suggested we go down. The next one was lower left, but we're not going to go there just yet. There is nothing there. I believe this guy's a trainer. I don't think machine even. No, he's not. I'm not going to help you. Oh! Here's a wild Pokemon, I wonder what it's going to be! It is Unknown! This is Unknown's F form. And see, it's kind of the letter F, like that. But yeah. Unknown is pathetically weak. So don't even bother using them. The only move they can learn is Hidden Power. Which is a bit of a novelty move. And there's nothing there, so I'll just keep on ploughing down through the ruins. And yeah, I believe this guy's a trainer. Yeah, this guy's the trainer. Hello! What are you doing down here, you daft bat? Ain't you ruined rife with the unknown? There has to be a meaning, but its significance eludes me, and that's gotten me cranky! <laughs> if you say so. You are challenged by Ruin Maniac Carl. Geodude. Okay. Maybe Ponyta wasn't such a great choice. Let's go to... Primgorp. Come on, Primplop, you can do this! Rock polish, yeah? That's not gonna help, yeah? You know why? Because I'm fastest starter in Gurm. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, I think uh, Chimchar is faster. I have a quick claw anyway, so even if I'm not, that, that may well activate. There we 
go. Hopefully Pony do a level up with this. I hope it does. Yes. Fire spin. Pathetic move. Why'd I press forget a move? I don't want it. Although, I'll, I'll probably get rid of Tail Whip because I don't use that at all. So, I'm replacing a pointless move with a pointless move. Fantastic. Oh! Sonkino on a motorbike again? Nope. Not you, dude. Another bubble beam. Uh. And a Bronzor. This is where Ponyta is going to shine. Bronzor are a very annoying type of Pokemon. They are of the Steel Psychic type, meaning their only two weaknesses are Fire and Ground. However, they have the ability Levitate, which means that they are immune to Ground type moves. Therefore, their only weakness is Fire, and boy are they defensive. That is why I'm going to try and put a Fire Spin on it, just to see what will happen. So fire Spin's a weak move but it'll do damage to it every turn. These things are defensive as hell. So I don't count on defeating them too easily. For a good strong fire type move like Fire Blast should do it. That move's got like 120 power though. Now Flame Wheel did it here, but be wary of them and their evolution Bronzong. They're also very annoying seeing that they are even more defensive. The search must continue. Yes indeed. So, the next one we have to go into the top right, but I'm going to go and search these empty ones first. Waterstone, that's not what I am going to evolve my Eevee into. It would evolve the Eevee into Vaporeon if I were to use the Waterstone. Which is a very good Pokemon, and I've used it before, but it's not my favourite. My favourite is what I'm going to evolve it into. Next, what we had to do was uh, top left. So, going down here will bring us to some empty doorway or room uh, let me go in please thank you right here I think it wanted me to go up the what was it again top left yeah I wanted me to go up the top left so if I go down here there should be another room thunderstone this is what I'm going to use on Eevee in fact I'm going to use it on Eevee right now Abel. What? Eevee is evolving! And Eevee has evolved into the mighty electric type that is Jolteon. This is the last member of my team. It is an electric type. And so can take out quite a few different types actually. Water types, flying types. And there are a lot of water types in this game, believe me, that have a secondary type, which means they resi they take normal damage from grass. So Jolteon is actually a very, very good Pokemon, and I'm going to give my experience share to it. Right. So when I don't need my uh, my Bidoof, Jolteon will be in the party. I think up here was also another place where I didn't need to go. Yeah, in fact, I don't know why I'm going to keep going to these rooms because I've collected all the hidden items. And that was uh, lower left, I believe. Indeed, it was. What does this say? Friendship. All. All. Li all the all, all the all there's something in the middle that I can't recognise. What the hell is that? All other something love to create some something. So, is there something? I don't know. Right, four items here. A nugget can be sold at shops for 5,000 poker dollars. Very, very useful indeed. HMO5 Defog. This is what we came here for. Defog. 
a mind play that can be used to boost the power of psychic type moves, so guess who I'm going to give that to? And an odd incense, that also increases the power of psychic type moves. Right. If I'm correct in thinking, I believe the odd incense gives us a better power increase than mind plate, but I'm not sure. But I don't care, I'm going to give the mind plate to Alakazam, because it doesn't have an item yet. Increases the power of psychic type moves. Anyway, now we're done in here. Do I have an escape rope that I can use to exit immediately? Actually, I don't think I need one. I think I can just use Alakazam's teleport, but I'm not sure. Damn it, I can't use it here. Right, I'll just have to find my way out. I'll see you when I'm out of here. Alright, now that I've exited those goddamn ruins, which are hard to navigate your way around if you don't understand the unknown alphabet. I dropped my thing on the table. There are some berries over here that I haven't collected. There is a Persian berry. Want to pick it? Yes. Persian berries heal confusion. They're quite handy. What's over here? A Nana berry. And I'm assuming the one next to it is also a Nana berry. Because its sprite is exactly the same. And I was right! Yay for logic! And this is a Figgy berry. Derived from the fig, of course. And it stopped raining outside. That's good. Right then, what else is there to explore around this town? I really don't know. There's the daycare over there, which uh, I don't use at all. But right up here, there is Route 2010, and there are some battles that we can fight here. You cannot ride your bike in this tall grass, unfortunately. That's a shame, but there are some berries we can pick here. So I'll pick them. An Aspear Berry. We've got some of them that can heal uh, fr frozenness. And there's another one. A raspberry? How creative of a name. And a pinup berry. So I'm going to proceed and fight all the trainers on this route. So uh, let's fight this dude first. Yeah, this dude. Noticed I used the word dude. So it's to rave you up front because it is the lowest level. Correcting what I said in the last one, in the last video. Or earlier, I should say. My Pokemon toughened up while working on the ranch. I'm right proud of them. I'm right proud of them. I'm sure you are. God dang it. One Pokemon. And it's a Ponyta. Noob. Starave is coming at you with a vengeance. And Starave only needs six experience points to evolve. Starave is going to level up at the end of this. You're using Fire Spin. Noob. Crappy move. Yeah, hashtag crappy move. And if I spin does hardly anything. Oh, at least you're using a decent attack. Oh wow, what a surprise. Of course I was gonna get burnt. There we go, hook attack finishes it off. Level 24. And Jolteon got some too. Ha 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 ha! The Pokemon can sure be counted on. Hell yeah! Well, Staravia got a bit damaged in that, so I'm gonna retire it for a bit. And oh! Hello, it's, a, it's another one. Oh, I've gotta go through all this intimidate crap. Hurry up! I don't, wanna, I don't care about this. Want to leave? Thank you. Next up, there's something up here. Let's switch to Ravia out for I don't know. Alakazam, I guess. Go over here. Oh, hello, double battle. I think I still... Yay, we're going to battle with lots of Pokemon! Yay, we're going to battle! Yay, yay, yay! I think I left Staravia in the top two spaces, so... Staravia might just have to battle. Those are the seals that they were talking about. And yes, Staravia is in the battle. And it could be bad if it gets attacked by the Pikachu, because it's weak to it. So I reckon I'm going to take care of the Pikachu first. So I mean, the Pikachu... Well, to be honest, I don't mean first, I just mean that... You know, Alakazam will take care of it. Absolutely, because it's it's 
It's such a good Pokemon. Wing attack. Look how much that did. Oh, you knew. That's like a double team. Evasiveness Rose. Only did half damage because of that burn. Feel the burn. I'm furrowing you. You're already the centre of attention because you're the only Pokemon I can attack. I'm surprised I didn't take it out. Guess that has good special defence. And that's all the experience it gives me. Preposterous! Yep, you couldn't win anyway. Let's go over here and uh, battle this dude. Hey, check this out! Look at the luster of my Pokemon's fur! I can you see it right now! Show it to me! Khalil! Elekid. It's an electric type. Touching its fur would probably shock you. Electrically, not, you know, psychologically. Easy. Easy as peas. Happiny. This Pokemon gives you a ton of experience. Just to point that out, okay? So I reckon I'm going to use... Should I use Jolteon for this? Yes, because Jolteon will get a ton of experience from this. I'm just going to see if Jolteon can finish it off. Jolteon is really, really fast. It has a base speed stat of 130, if you're familiar with them. That's freaking fast. See how much tackle does. That's not bad. Copycat. Wow. How original. Happiness family, uh, along with Chansey. Chansey is Happiness evolution. Have a ridiculous amount of experience. Uh, experience? Hit points. And, well, and experience, yeah, but a ridiculous amount of hit points. So let's see how much experience I get from this. 1,254. That is a lot for this early in the game. All these stat increases. One more level up, maybe? No. But you see? Hey, did you take a good look? Yeah, I did. But then I killed it. So, pointless, really. What's over here? A super repel. That is like a that is like two repels in one. It deter deters Pokemon for 200 steps. Okay. Yeah. I'm a rookie breeder, but I'll do my very best. Okay. Hit me with your best shot. I got two Pokemon. A Magby. As opposed to a bag me. Let's uh let's use Psybeam. Because that's how I do it. Easy as peas. Togepi. <clears throat> Quite a weak Pokemon, so Jolteon will do just fine. Hey Jolteon, you're so fun, you're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey Jolteon. Hey, Jolteon. Okay. That's not good. Um. Okay. I thought we'd do a lot more. Oh, critical hit. Lovely. And I'm just being put to sleep. I'm just going to use a berry to wake me up. To work me up. Use the chest door, Betty. That's walking him up. Don't use yawn again. Good, metronome. Metronome is a move that results in it being able to use any random move. Just any move of anything, ever. Any move at all. Any of the hundreds of moves that we're in Generation 4. On course, so I have to use tackle over and over again, no matter what. Well, that's my plan. Just spam tackle. And it's gonna use yawn again. What's it gonna use this time? 
Sonic Boom. That always does 20 damage. Uh, I can't be bothered to use another berry, so I'm just gonna uh, keep on spamming uh, thingy. That's the annoying thing about Metronome, it's so unpredictable. Lock on. So that the next attack doesn't miss. Oh, I woke up straight away, that's nice. Not straight away, but you know, pretty quickly. Oh, critical hit! Absolutely fantastic! 363. Level 22, absolutely fantastic. Quick attack! This might be useful. Wow, my hands are sweaty. Let's forget. Uh, I will forget Helping Hand, because I want another attacking move. Fortunately, there is a, a TM coming up, which will be very useful to teach to Jolteon. But right now, I don't have it. Unfortunately, I don't. It's alright, I'm still a rookie. You are. you crap. What's this up here? Cafe Cabin, freshly squeezed milk. Um, no thanks. There are still some trainers that I haven't fought around here. It's these two. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. I'll show you all how I'm tightly I bonded with my daughter. I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. Okay, hit me with your best shot. Show me what you got. Ponyta and Rapidash. Rapidash is the evolution of Ponyta and can be only be obtained at level 40. You hacker. Luckily, Starave is going to lower both their attacks, which will uh, greatly reduce the damage that Flame Wheel will do. Will inevitably do. So, side beam on Rapidash, because Rapidash can be very annoying. And, yeah. I'll use Endeavor on the Ponyta, because that does fixed damage. Wow. Okay. Ember! Endeavor should bring that Ponyta's health right down. Nice. And fire spoon. Oh, because I'm with trapped in the vortex. Hurt by fire spin. And this might not be very good at all. Hope Star Raven will survive. Rapid Ash usually gives a lot of experience as well. Yeah, look at that. Level 25 for Alakazam. And almost a thousand, in fact. Simply because it's an evolved Pokemon. Now, hopefully they shouldn't do too much. Yeah, because the Starave is Intimidate. You got lucky, you did. You got really, really freaking lucky. And she would truck outside my house, shut up. Quick attack. There we go. Now that's the last battle that we have to do on this route for now. So, uh, yeah. Not too bad. Parent job power couldn't get the job done. Oh, sheesh. 5,376, that's plenty. So now that we're done with all these battles that we can do for now, let's run through here and talk to this girl. I'm taking a rest. If I had a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you should rest up too. So we get TM51, which contains roost. If they had to keep flying forever, Bobo would eventually crash. Roost is a move that, uh, a flying type move, in fact, that will uh, restore half of your hit points, I believe. If you're a bird Pokemon. Or a flying type, even. Bird Pokemon was a discontinued type, okay? I just want to see if I can find uh, the Pokemon that's around here somewhere. Actually, no, you know what? I won't bother. Right, so let's slide back down here, and I will go heal up Insulation Town, and that's it for this episode. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. In the next episode, we will continue uh, to go northeast of Salation Town, up where that, uh, that freshly, freshly squeezed milk cabin was. If we go to the east of there, we'll end up on Route 214. So, uh, yeah. The next episode, we will be traveling down there. See you guys then.